Can one ever get tired of eating vegetable soup? It's just a question. Comment down below what is your favorite Nigerian soup recipe. Hi lovelies, how are you all doing? Thank you for clicking on today's menu. So from the title, from the intro, we'll be making Nigerian vegetable soup. So I have my fresh water leaf here that I just went to my garden to harvest. I wanted to take you all along so that we'll harvest this water leaf together, but I was like, no, I don't want this video to be way too long. So I always like adding uh, the stem of water leaf to my vegetable soup because for me, I feel the stem also helps to bind the soup together. That is just my opinion i don't know about you but if you agree with me comment down below but if you don't like it just go ahead and plug the leaves out from the stem and uh, if you at all you want to try the stem make sure you are using the side that is soft and uh, very very firm as well so i have my frozen ogo here i did not remember bringing this uh, ogo out from my freezer on time so i'm going to allow it to sit inside the water until the ogo gets uh, to and over here are some of the remaining ingredients the rest of it will be on the description area i have some grounded crayfish green bell peppers goat meat cow food shrimps like any meat of your choice will be fine for this recipe so i'm going to add uh, the cow food and the goat meat i'm going to add onions i know i love onions but trust me you can never go wrong with lots of onions inside your vegetable soup so i'm going to add grounded or powdered uh, onion powder some chicken bouillon powder i'm going to add some salt when i'm done adding it i'm going to add water i will stir it then i will place it on my pressure cooker unit and allow the meat to cook until it is 95 percent cooked Still mine Diving in to all this So while the meat is cooking over here we are going to blend our green bell peppers and the onions you can also use red or yellow bell peppers to make this recipe as well and at this point the blended bell peppers are ready so at this point it's time for us to wash our water leaf remember i told you all that i just went to my garden to harvest it i'm going to add some salt you can also add vinegar to help the washing process or to take out excess residues the worst thing that can ever happen to anyone is enjoying his or her food and biting on sand or stone like that experience is not worth it so make sure you wash your water leave your vegetable before using it and at this point this is the third time of washing it and here are some of the sands that came out from it after washing i'm just going to cut it Cutting the water leaf is totally optional. If you don't want to cut it, you can go ahead and leave it just the way it is because water leaf doesn't have much strength, like it wits easily. But for me, I always like cutting it. So I'm just going to cut until I exhaust all the water leaf I have at hand. If you also want to know how to preserve your water leaf, I also have it on my channel as well. So at this point, I'm done cutting all the water leaves. As you can see, they're all finely cut. I'm going to transfer it inside my bowl. When that step is completed, I'm going to get my hot water that was already boiling behind the camera. I'm going to pour it inside. This is called blanching. Honestly, some days I don't do this. Some days I just wash it with hot water. But on this very day, I just feel like adding hot water to it. So I'm going to squeeze it out, making sure that uh, the whole water is well squeezed out from the water leaf because water leaf contains a whole lot of water. And this slimy part of it is what I don't really like. Like, I don't like that aspect. So yeah, this is how it looks at the moment. All done, all done. So at this point as well, the ugu leaves or the pumpkin leaves has stored very well. So I'm just going to open it up and transfer it inside my bowl. I'm going to take my time to wash this frozen ugu very well. Like don't be deceived because it's called frozen. Make sure you wash it very very well just to get rid of excess sand as well. So at this point, I'm going to add a reasonable amount of palm oil inside my pot. You don't need to bleach the oil, just allow the oil to heat up for some seconds before adding the onions. 
So I'm going to fry these onions for two minutes or until the onions become soft. So at this point, I'm going to transfer the blended green bell peppers and the onions. Like I said, they can also use red bell pepper or any pepper or even tatashe, okay, if you are in Nigeria. So I'm going to fry it until the oil settles on top of the sauce or until the water dries very well. I always like frying my oil whenever I'm making any Nigerian soup because sometimes the oil that we get here cannot be trusted. So by frying it, you might get rid of the bad taste of the oil. Like if you don't trust the oil that you have at hand, I would highly recommend you to fry it. So at this point, I'm going to cover it and allow to fry. So this is like some seconds later, as you can see, the color has changed, the oil has floated on top. This is what we are aiming at. I'm going to transfer all the proteins inside the sauce or inside the pot. I'm going to add the fresh shrimps, the grounded crayfish, also known as dry prawn. I'm just going to mix it, stir it very, very well. And at this point, the crayfish, the dry prawn was smelling so divine inside my kitchen. So I'm going to add uh, some beef bouillon powder. I'm just going to mix it thoroughly. So at this point as well, if you have any kind of dry fish, go ahead and add it at this point as well. So I'm going to introduce the fresh mackerel fish. I didn't boil this mackerel fish alongside with the rest of the proteins. Reason is because mackerel fish does not waste time to cook. So I'm going to cover it and allow the fish to cook very well. So at this point in time, the mackerel fish are well cooked. I went ahead and removed it because I don't want the mackerel fish to break. I always like it chunky inside my plate whenever I'm eating like it gives me hope for tomorrow. <laughs> so at this point, I'm going to introduce the vegetable, which is the pumpkin leaves or the ugu leaf. I'm adding the ugu leaf first because it's a little bit harder than the fresh air and water leaf. So I'm going to stir it. When I'm done stirring it, I'm going to cover it and allow to cook for 3 minutes. Alright lovely, 3 minutes later, I'm here again to check back on our pot of soup, making sure everything is well balanced. So I'm going to test for seasoning. If there is need, I'm going to add, but when I tested, it was absolutely perfect like perfection i'm going to stir it one more time when i'm done i'm going to introduce the next vegetable which is our blanched water leaf the ratio of ugu spinach or pumpkin should be more than the ratio of water leaf whenever you are making your vegetable soup reason is because water leaf contains more moist when you add excess water leaf to your vegetable soup it will turn out to be watery so the ratio of ugu Pumpkin spinach should be more than the ratio of water leaf. So at this point, I'm going to make sure everything is well mixed. When I'm done, I'm going to cover it up and allow the vegetable soup to heat up on a very low heat for at least two minutes. So some minutes later, I'm just going to stir it for the very last time. And when I finished stirring it, I went ahead and tested it again, like testing the microphone. <laughs> Don't blame me, guys. This soup was super, super finger licking. So at this point, I added the cooked mackerel fish. I'm going to cover it and allow it to simmer on a very low heat. Vegetable soup does not need much moist, like it doesn't need much moist. And as you can see, the water leaf has released just a little bit of it. All right, lovelies, here comes the final result of our finger licking Nigerian vegetable soup. You can enjoy this soup with any favorite swallow of your choice. You can enjoy it with your rice. Thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video. Do not forget to give it a thumbs up. I will catch you all on my next video. Bye, lovelies.